Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. I'm going to start today by finishing the work on my larch landscape, cleaning up all the needles that have fallen down, and pruning up the moss. Then we'll step back and have a look at the composition, see what's going well with it, and uh, see what can be improved. Most of the work is done on the larch forest. I'm just cleaning it up, doing some final uh, trimming of the moss. I'm not uh, getting it show ready. If I was getting it show ready, I'd have to like super detail every area. But I'm just doing a general cleanup. I'm hoping to get all this work done in time for the nice lighting on the forest. Right now it's in shade, but soon the sun will be high enough that I'll get some nice side lighting on the forest. And it should look quite nice, I think. I sometimes get people saying, oh, you should add a little tent in there or a little bear or something like that and I think that's a real compliment that uh, they're imagining it that you know they're looking at this landscape and picturing where you would set up a tent or where you would walk on the pathways and I think that's really cool because that means the miniature landscape is working if people are imagining themselves being there or imagining more details that aren't there and I think you know that's the charm of these miniature landscapes is that it uh, well people view it as a a real landscape and they imagine things if you look at a landscape and you it just looks like a bunch of trees in a pot well it's not very effective but if they imagine themselves being there, then you've created a good forest, I think. Or you've created a good composition and the details are there. I have finished cleaning up the landscape in the large forest. So here's what I took off. So a lot of moss, weeds, needles, liverwort. Yeah, it was a, a fairly big job weeding it all. And if I was going to put it in a show, I would do even more work on it, detailing each section of the landscape, trying to make it look more and more realistic. It's time now to take a stroll through the large forest. Here we go. I'm stepping back now having a look at the large forest so one improvement I could definitely do is a new pot this is in a mica pot right now I think a pot with a little more room on the left hand side here would be really nice sort of like I have on the right hand side just a bit of uh, a bit of an area there instead of that kind of abrupt cliff edge I like the abrupt cliff edge, but I think it just needs a little more space on that side. So 
I think that would improve it. Um, it's possible a rectangular pot would look good. It, it's hard to say. The composition is fairly, if you view it from the top, it, it suits an oval, but you know, sometimes with oval shaped trees and that, a square pot looks better. It provides a bit of contrast. It would also give a little more room for the landscape. You would have more of an expanse on the corners. So that's a possibility, a, a larger rectangular pot, and I would just slip pot the whole planting in it. The trees themselves, um, they're coming along. Uh, it's always constant work on them. And I think when the next flush of growth comes in, I can remove a lot of the older large needles. The trees will look more miniature, more compact. They're kind of uh, loose and uh, fluffy right now, but that, that happens every spring when you get that vigorous first and second flush of growth in. The trees definitely slow down uh, throughout the summer. My apex, it's on the main tree here, the largest, tallest tree. I would say it's getting acceptable. It's not super, but it's, it's okay. At least it looks fairly natural from the front anyway. It, uh, it doesn't look too, too out of place anymore. I think that'll improve over the years. Um, it would be nice to get more back budding on the trees to bring them in into a more compact conical silhouette. It would give a little more room around each tree so they're not kind of overlapping each other. I have them all so they have their own space when viewed from above. There's no branches that grow in towards the other tree that overlap or anything like that. So each tree is its own conical shape and it has space to grow, which is, is difficult in a forest, getting them uh, so they don't grow into each other. I've uh, reduced the apex on a lot of the trees quite a bit, taking it back again, taking vigor out of the apex and kind of encouraging vigor in the lower branches to balance that vigor. And that's an ongoing thing with larches and most trees is to always be trying to balance that vigor. So your branches up top stay kind of thin and delicate if possible. Uh, could this forest get restyled in the future? Well. It is always possible. Uh, right now, the trees are kind of based on a large forest that I walk through a lot, where they're all kind of fairly mature trees. They're all vertical. They all have their own space. And it's kind of based on that. I don't have a lot of smaller trees in the forest here. I have some variety, but not tremendous variety. Like my, my main tallest tree here isn't like really huge compared to all the rest of them. It, there's, there is subtle variation, but it's not dramatic. And I think that's fine. I think it, it looks quite realistic as a, an older forest. The landscape, um, I would say right now I have maybe a bit too much moss. I, I think I need to tone that down a bit. I think it's more like a even carpet and it looks quite thick in a lot of areas. So I could do more work on the moss for sure. Kind of thinning it down in a lot of places. But I think it's, it's an interesting landscape. I like the little cave out front. I like the dry stream bed. The runoff out the front of the forest looks quite nice. It frames the forest nicely. So those are some of the improvements that will be coming to the forest someday. Definitely when I find a nice pot, we'll uh, get it repotted. I've still got the plant room and the basement full of tropical trees. So I'm going to start bringing them out today, setting up the tables, moving trees back and forth. But I'm going to end this video today with some work on my ficus microcarpa. This was a ginseng ficus that was purchased at a grocery store by my brother and I've been converting it into a bonsai. Here is a look at the ficus. It's growing really, really well since the last pruning. It's getting a little out of shape and there's a lot of new shoots that need pruning back. 
I'm going to start by pruning up the overall profile of the tree, the rounded umbrella shaped canopy. Some of these shoots are getting quite long. I need pruning back. So here I go. I've, uh, I've got some shoots on this one. I have a leaf facing the front here, one here. So I could prune to either of those. I think I'm going to go quite short. So I'll prune it to the first one right here. So here I go, just like that. The next one that's quite tall is this one. I'm just looking for leaves. So I have a shoot at the back here, which is quite short. And then I have nothing up until this leaf up here, which is still out of the profile. So in this case, I'm going to go to that one, even though it's not a good direction. It's kind of facing towards the back of the tree. So hopefully I'll get some new shoots coming out in this area. So here I go. I'm pruning it back about halfway through here, like that. I've got this shoot coming out the back here. I don't know if I need that one at all. It's kind of, it's the third branch in this division. So I only need two. So I'm going to take it right out like that. This branch here is starting to stick up. It's not too, too bad, but I could definitely prune the tip off of it at least. Like that. So that kind of gets that back into the profile. I've got one sticking up here. I'll prune it back to here. I've got one of the back sticking up. So I will prune that right back to I'm looking for a leaf that faces out the back of the tree right here. So I'll prune the tip off like that. So that's, it's a little flat on top, but it's looking better. Now I'm looking for shoots that are really vigorous. Here's an old leaf I can prune off. I can prune the tip off this one back to here like that there's one sticking up here I can prune back to I'm going to prune it to this one facing forward here taking the tip off like that this one is looking good this one I could prune the tip off like that There's a branch going out the side here. I'm going to prune the tip off. So a lot of this is just sort of maintenance pruning. There's a very vigorous branch here. It's getting tall. I'll take the tip off that one. There's one coming out the side here, which is developing really nicely. I'm going to leave that one because I want more width in the canopy. So these shoots that are growing horizontally, I'm not going to touch those. This one coming out the front, um, it's, it's kind of sticking out quite a bit. And my branch leader is this one here. Um, I think I better prune this one branch back. It's crossing. It's crossing that main leader. And then I have a branch back closer that I can prune this part of it off. So I'm going to take this sticking out the front take that right off like that I'll pinch the tip off on this one or prune the tip off this one I'll prune the tip off that's kind of got this main apex which I want to grow a little taller it's not as high as the back here so this needs to grow up and fill in this space here to kind of yeah, make my canopy a little fuller The upper leaf here I'm going to take off, an older leaf. An older one here I'm going to take off. These older leaves are contributing to the vigor of the tree and I don't want a lot of vigor. I want this tree to grow slowly so a little leaf thinning is good. It stops the tree gaining a ton of vigor. So I'm taking out some of the older leaves 
Some of them are quite large. It lets light get down to these lower branches too. There's a, oh, that one's okay. Older leaf here I can remove. And when I say an older leaf, I prune back the tree to leaves facing the direction I want the new branch to come in. And when the new branch comes in, you still have the older leaf, so you can remove that and just keep your new shoot. Helps thin it all out. There's a branch at the back here that's getting kind of tall. I'll prune it to an outward facing leaf and I'll prune the upper leaf off to get a little more light down there. There's another older leaf I can prune off here. There's an older leaf I can prune off here. And one here. And one here. Some older leaves in here I'll prune off. This tree usually takes quite a while to prune because it's getting a lot of branches on it. It's a fairly detailed tree now. Older leaf there. An older leaf here. Getting more light to the interior of this tree. Just removing some of these older leaves. Keeping my flatter leaves. They get all the light, not the ones pointing straight up and down. Coming around to the back of the tree. Here's a shoot that's getting a little long. I'll prune the tip off. There's a branch here that's getting long. I'll prune the tip off that one. So pruning the tip off encourages subdividing of the branch. So instead of the branch just extending out straight, it subdivides and you get more branching. Move that vertical leaf there. Now let me go back to the front here. So the back of the tree is a little tall. If I can reduce that back just a bit, that would be good. But I don't know if I can. I'll take this older leaf off. Uh, there's an older leaf here. And an older leaf down here. Like that. Older leaf here I can take off. Now, I was looking at the height here. Well, not much I can do. I think I've got to grow the front a little taller. It's kind of pruned up that apex. Here's another older leaf I can take out. Just to help thin that canopy to get light down to these lower branches. Here's a leaf facing the inside. I'll take that out. Now I have a lot of new branches coming out the front here, which I didn't want. I pruned them away before and they keep growing in. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to take the one sticking straight out the front off here, like that. I think these lower ones can come off. I don't want those. I want to see some trunk line here. I don't just want roots and then a big canopy. And then I've got a lot growing in here, and I, I've pruned them off in the past to, so it doesn't block this trunk line behind here. I'll take this one off in here, and this one, like that. And I may, I may keep one here. It'll be this one up top. There's a shoot right here, I can grow it up kind of in this space. So the other ones I don't need. Like that. There's one here I don't need. I need some light to this new branch, so I'll take this one off. It's sticking straight out the front. So you can see this branch. There's two there, but I'll grow one of them up into this space. This will be the dominant apex of the tree eventually. I've got some new branches in here. I, this is the one I'm developing, my horizontal branch. I, this one grows underneath the apex here. I don't need those, so I'm taking those out also. 
even though they kind of fill out the canopy, they'll just clutter it up in the future. And I'll take this leaf out. So now you can see that trunk line a little more clearly. It's looking quite nice. I'm wondering about this branch sticking up. I don't think I want it sticking up. I have a subdivision or I have a leaf facing outwards front and back so I'm going to prune the tip off, reducing the back even more. So it's growing up more horizontally rather than up underneath this branch here. There's one growing on the inside here. I'm going to take that out. Again, it's just cluttering up the canopy putting energy into branches I don't want to grow. It's very cluttered back here. I've got to sort this out. Some leaf removal. I've got three branches growing from one spot here. I'll take out the weaker ones. Some leaf I can remove in here. Where it went right here. There's a branch growing up in here I don't want. It's again cluttering up that the structure with new shoots that I'm always cleaning out. So you can see it's more open in here now. I don't think I need this branch. I'm going to take it right out. It's just I've got this branch growing up. I've got one here. It's just too many branches growing in the same direction here, so this one's going to come out like that. This one's okay. Prune the tip off this one. Prune the tip off this one. Yeah, to encourage my branches to go more horizontally. This one, I can't prune the tip yet because it's there's nothing to prune to yet. I'll take the older leaf out here. Prune that branch off. There's an old leaf here I can take out. Okay. There's another older leaf I can take out. There's one down here growing in the wrong direction. I'll take that one out. It was growing in towards the center of the tree. So that, that's a big improvement already. There's a few new shoots growing inside the tree here. I'm just going to prune those leaves and those new branches out. They're just little suckers that come up. Okay. Well, I think that's looking much better. I'm, I'm liking it. Cleaned up quite nicely. I've kind of got a double branch here, the one above and the one below. But I can train this one to come forward and this one to go back, so I think that one's okay. There's a shoot going straight up here. There's not a lot I can do there. Better leave it. See what develops in that area. Okay, so I, I think I think that concludes the pruning on my ficus. It's looking quite good. 
and again you know this will grow up it'll fill it in a bit more I think I'll get a nice canopy on this tree in the future here is a look at what I took off the tree today so just a lot of older leaves some tips some new suckers or branches growing in let's have a look at the tree I'll rotate the tree around so you can see it from all angles so here I go here's the front of the tree coming around to the right hand side coming around to the back side to the left hand side and back to the front so you can see the canopy is forming nicely all the way around it's not a flat tree it's it looks fairly good from all angles the canopy it's filling out into a nice umbrella shape sort of a banyan style this is uh, planted in a 3d printed pot it's a uh, sort of a Vietnam style pot inspired by the pots of Vietnam and so is the tree so I think it's coming along really nicely this tree is a regular ficus microcarpa they're sold as ginseng ficus so they have ficus microcarpa roots and then they graft on usually tiger bark ficus or some small leaf variety of ficus to the top all the grafts on the top died off on this tree the tree was looking pretty sad when I got it there was like no leaves on it it was basically dead so I brought it back to health and all these shoots have come from the rootstock so all this foliage on here is from the rootstock it's there's no grafts anymore or anything like that I sawed off all those big thick ginseng roots just cut it with a soft flat replanted it and it uh, grew new roots and I've been developing the canopy ever since and it, it's coming along really nicely it's a nice little miniature tree it's not very big and uh, I really like it it's one of my favorites when I'm recording these videos I turn the fans down to low in the greenhouse here so you can hear me it gets very very warm in here it's over 40 degrees Celsius it's pretty hot and humid in here I'm going to spend the rest of the day bringing out trees from the basement and the plant room setting up tables so hopefully in tomorrow's video you'll see a lot of plants that you haven't seen for a long time coming outside for the first time this year that's all for today I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.